Good evening, and ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Villain TV episode. Uh, tonight for the uh, C uh, ETF World Season 15 Week 2 Premiership game between uh, Revolution La Meta Game and uh, Solar Pro Professional Edition. I am uh, joined uh, by um, Mia, or should I say uh, Sunly Star Mia? Hello? Good evening. Hello. Uh, Mia's just fine. Sunly okay. Star Mia's a massive mouthful, so I'd rather not. <laughs> Indeed. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great today. It's uh, lovely and sunny outside. Yep, that's good to hear. Um, for those that don't know who, who Mia is, uh, she uh, actually casted for... Um, she casted the uh, Russian land, so to speak, all on Saturday with a ma magical killer cow. That's also a mouthful to say as well. Uh, otherwise known as Hayden, and they did a very, very good job, and I promised that I would get them onto Vanilla TV and uh, bring them forward to the scene, because I think they have... Uh, a good talent that we need to promote. So, uh, obviously, not many people know who you are, Mia. Um, if you want to give yourself like a little introduction of who you are and, and how long you've been playing TF2 and, and what's your favourite class and stuff like that. Um, well, I've been playing TF2 for about two years. I'm mainly a Highlander person. I'm a UGC admin for EU. I play a heck of a lot of heavy, but I also play medic and sixes. And put in page as well, and I also do a bit of spying in ETF two L Islander. Excellent. Excellent. Heavy, heavy. I do like the heavy. It's um, obviously my Islander class, so it's uh, no, it's uh, good to hear from you, like, and see you in the TF two community. So you've been playing it longer than obviously uh, Mr. Magical Killer Cow, Mr. Hayden. Um, so obviously your experience is more wisdomous than his. I'm sure he won't like that, but it's solid the truth. <laughs> um, so these two teams, um, would you be like? Would you agree in the fact that it's they're from the bottom half of Premiership? Yeah, not they're it's... definitely not in the top four, and there is a massive skill gap between uh, those top four teams and the other half of uh, the Prem Division in sixes. Yeah, no, um, it's it's been happening for isn't at least I think three four seasons where we've had that. I think to be fair, since the dawn of TF2 almost, um, where we've had either top three and then the rest are all under that level by distance and now it's just top four so it is eking and improving slightly but um, yeah no I would say these are the best of the two teams from the bottom half maybe and uh, they're gonna both be looking out to get some points I think just because they lost their first game each um, so uh, Solar I believe lost their game to um, who was it uh, let's double check I think it was uh, Broder yeah it was Broder yeah so yeah uh, Solar lost their first game to Broder uh, convincingly um, and uh, and uh, RLM lost their game to Crackland convincingly as well. Um, so obviously, like you said, the skill gap is too big for them, and they will be looking to to try and get to that fourth spot. I think. I think that is their target here, uh, Mia. Yeah, I remember watching the um, Broda versus Solar game on YouTube, and it was did they? I think they capped five points in about 17 minutes. It was uh, ri kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Badlands. Just taking a look, because uh, I've got some uh, thanks to Ari, he pasted the uh, logs of the warm-ups that they had. So, um, uh, Solar played against Crack Clan on Snakewater and lost 6-1 in 25 minutes. Um, so that might not say much, because with Crack Clan obviously are a very, very good team. Um, they um, Then... Uh, RLM played against Broda on Gully Wash and they lost 6-1 in 19 minutes. So again, maybe not so, maybe just disproving that the fact that the top four are just, you know, on another level. But at the same time, it's not really giving much away in terms of how these teams will play against. I think it's literally going to be a very, very close battle between the two and whoever gets the points here. Um, uh, also, uh, they played, um, RLM played against Broda on Snakewater and that was a bit better for them. That was 6-3 in 29 minutes. So, yeah, uh, that that was slightly less of a role. Indeed. So, um, yeah, no, no, it's. I think it's going to be close between these two. Um, there will be mistakes, surprisingly, because I say surprisingly because the players in these teams, especially from RLM, some of them uh, have played at the highest level. Haunter, Tech, Quad. Um, I've known them for a long while, and they've yeah they played at the highest level. Haunter that I played with him in Team Cool in Team Cooler Master. Um, quads played for Infused, um, and obviously Tech playing for Punchline. Um, so 
Um, I don't know if you've got a favourite here, Mia. Do you I, have a favourite? Yeah, I really, I have a massive thing for Flippy, like and quads. Oh really? The, oh, yeah, really? the scouts on. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't get jealous here, right? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Flippy's a, a great sniper, and so is Quad, and I, I love it when they off class. Yeah, no, I mean that's the, I suppose the beauty of scout. They can actually off class and come up with amazing picks that change the uh, game. Uh, or should I say the round? Maybe the game all over. So, yeah, no. Um, so you're so you're going with uh, RLM, are you? Yeah, I. I'm looking at the roster, and I maybe it's because like the names I've seen are more famous, but I just I have a feeling they will edge it over Silver. <laughs> I know um, Flippy. He played backup for was it Rosa last season? Yeah, he was backup. But um, yeah, I am being told that Animals TF2 crashed, so apologies there, he will be back up straight away. It's the first time he's ever actually crashed in Team Fortress 2 while streaming, but uh, the first time for everything. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, going back to this, yeah, uh, Flippy was uh, back up for Broda, but he was looking to find another clan while he was back up, I believe, last season. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for me, just from the history, I... I I'd like to see Haunter's team win. If they Haunter's team, probably they'll disagree and say it's either the Spins team or someone else's team, but I know Haunter quite well in terms of how he plays, how he thinks. He's a very smart player, very good caller as well. Um, and uh, I'm going to guess he calls most of the shots in that team for sure, because um, he's had he's got the experience and knowledge uh, more than any of them, I think, personally. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, it's going to be interesting. I... I don't know, because they might play two snipers, you see. Oh, my, oh, that'd be so great if that happened. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, I love watching snipers. Yeah, no, I, I mean, they have got some really good snipers, obviously, with Tech, who's an insane sniper, Quad, who's an insane sniper, Haunter, who's a really good sniper as well. <laughs> and they have, I, I'm not too sure about Solo, they do have a sniper, I can't remember who who is really good, though, a sniper. I, not one that actually like sticks in my mind, so I'm pretty sure they do have a sniper though. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting. I don't know who we're waiting for at the moment. Who we're waiting for? It looks like we are waiting for Flippy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What have you? Are. What have you? What have you done to him, Mia? What have you done? <laughs> I I stole him away because wanna, I wanted wanna... to see him for my own. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, no. While we uh, wait for these. Wait for sorry, uh, RLM to to show up with their sixth player. Let's just go over the uh, roster. It's going to be a bit hard and tricky for us just because they haven't put their real nicks on, unfortunately. So we've got Peter 1998 and Paul 1988. Now, unless <laughs> can someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Paul 1988 is Medu. Um. Which I'm just going to calculate who the other guy is now <laughs> by by the power of deduction. That, that would be a uh, core. Cool. For Peter. Uh, cool. Let's hope it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, you've got Medu and then Core. Flippy joined Red and have actually gone live, believe it or not. So let me just uh, bring this in. So you, welcome to Final TV. You are watching the ETF 2 World Season 15 Week 2 Premiership game between uh, Solar and, or Solar Professional Edition and uh, RLM. Um, take a look now over middle. Oh, See right. It looks like Haunter there got a bomb in there on Vanilla already, and that's a medic down, and no heals there for Solar. But they are five men up versus two. Spin is alive with Exxon, so they will be able to contend maybe second. I'm not too sure. Good spot there straight away with Haunter. Haunter getting the crucial pick, but they may not be able to even hold second here, Mia. Yeah, it, they will not have spawns in time to contest second by the time the scouts cap it and uh, the rest of the team hopefully get uh, into a better position. Yeah, no, it looks like they, obviously they do, they do have the uber advantage now, don't they? So they, in theory, should push, shouldn't they, really? I mean, it's like 70% advantage and they are looking, they are in a position and their demeanor shows like they're about to push, but they're taking a lot of time here to shout onto second. They're, it seems like they're very scared and ed edgy. Yeah, they know the shutter door down by the lower lobby is sticky up, so they have to push through top right now. Unfortunately, they are getting juggled and are taking a lot of damage in the air. It looks like 
Um, so we are going back to Red Choke right now and letting RLM have the point here. Yeah, that was really well played by Haunter then, just dominating that like territory and saying, you know what, this is my area, my cat point, please get out. And uh, yeah, Quad goes down, so it's actually 5 versus 5 at the moment. They need to be careful here. And uh, looks like they're getting ready to push here, Solar, and they have actually pushed in. And they forced the Uber very early, but they are going to have to multi Uber. That is their problem here. That soldier might try and pick off that soldier here. Haunter needs some help here. And he uh, does he does get Ubered by uh, Spin there. That was very well played by Spin. It looks like both teams have just retreated back to the other sides of the chokes. However, the Hicks did go down as the pocket soldier there. So no pocket there to protect Vanilla. Yeah, no, he's obviously now the other soldiers rotated, but Quad's gone down again. He's costing his team that momentous push. Um, that pick could have been the movement to go in, and uh, Quad going down now ha means that they are going to have to reset here and just be c you know, content with defending second. Um, as you can see, David the Wind saying, Quad, please stop or stop, as it were, because <laughs> he keeps on dying and losing that advantage that RLM have here, Mia. Yeah, it looks like the two scouts here for Solar are watching double doors and there is Uber for both teams right now. We should be seeing some sort of push in. Uh, both teams have six up and have got the correct buffs going around. Yeah, no, they're probably going to go for a pick. That's not, that's probably uh, what they're looking for here. Both teams looking for that ever crucial pick because QNX, as you can see, was actually weak and he managed to get out and he's getting healed now. So. Yeah, no, it's just a waiting game now. Whoever is more impatient, Mia, is going to maybe either win or lose out here. It's whoever wants to make the first move, the ballsy move. It okay. looks like um, Sola have rotated over to Big Door and have actually gone impatient, as you said. Yeah, and uh, they're getting a bit of frustrated here, and they're actually pushing through, but they don't want to have to use that Uber too early, and they are taking a lot of damage. If you look at their health, they're taking so much damage. Hicks is very weak, Peter's very weak, so the structure from RLM is very, very good. They know where to hold, they know where to spam, the comms are clean. Um, well, it looks like RLM are pushing in through Red Choke right now, although a heck of a lot of them have taken damage. Quad is, uh, again, very low, whilst uh, in comparison, Solar do have most of the players over here with them buffed. It looks like Solo is the first one to pop in here through Choke, and um, Spin did hold his Uber for a bit longer, so his one should last longer than that Uber exchange. Yeah, no, the demo's in. He's committed, but no one's actually helping Exxon here. He's gonna... Oh, he's gone down here. No one actually committed through. The scout comes in now, though, and he... They're all going in one by one here, so Haunter gets Peter, or Tech gets Lali, should I say, and that medic is in trouble, and it's still advantage to uh, Solar though here, Mia, because they've got nice spawns, and Spin is the only one who stays alive. Yeah, it, it looks like um, Solar are going to go and be able to cap this fourth point right here, and Spin has run all the way back to last, and, unfortunately, and he'll have about a 20-25% uber advantage over Vanilla, who's only just spawned. Yeah, no, um, th that advantage may not be enough, though, to recontest second. The thing that lost it there, though, for me, um, I, was the fact that they went in one by one. They had the Uber advantage, they Ubered very late. And now, just, let me just cut myself in there, actually trying to recap second, because uh, they just basically said, again, this is my area, get out, please. It looks like uh, Vanilla is holding really far back by his choke right now, and um, it actually looks like the... RLM are gonna push onto mid right now. There's absolutely no contest thing from Solar. Oh, oh my god, And he's managed to Uber, so now they're in trouble. That dumb man. Oh, he unluckily uh, dies there. He almost got out there. That was very well played. Good Uber by Spin. Ubering his men. No one dies. And now Spin goes down to spy pick from QNX there. Very good pick there. So they need to be. Oh, they've killed four though. At this point, it should be theirs in theory. It should be theirs here. Yeah, he, he, although Spin did go down, so it will be hard to push um, to hold this point. I think Varney has switched back to regular Uber. Yeah, he, uh, he yeah he has, but oh, have you noticed that Tech has actually gone Spy, so look for the Spy back cap or the Spy kill. I'm looking at first person point of view here of Tech, going through lower, through main now. He's getting all the ammo he can, chewing onto it. it looks like he's going to go for the back cap here, Mia. Oh, oh he's got a soldier against him. He needs to be careful. What's he going to do? Can they yeah. block it for him? Can they block it for him? No, he, they've seen him. Can he get a magnum shot? Almost kill him. No, he can't. No damage on QNX there. Tech not doing any damage. Really a spy. Um, so now they're a bit in trouble because obviously they've lost the player and they've got an uber disadvantage. And as you can see, their position here, Mia, is very defensive. They're looking to drop out. 
Yeah, they're holding all the way back in a choke right now, and at the moment, um, Solar are, are just uh, stacking the point right now and uh, letting Hicks get a good forward spawn. Yeah, no, that was a smart move by RLM saying, look guys, just give up middle because we don't have Uber in time, but they will have Uber now to hold second, and I'm pretty sure uh, Solar will know this. Um, so now we're back to where we were about five minutes ago <laughs> when they were defending this transitional point. Wow, it's uh, season zero zero, and this is incredibly stomach. It looks like the Uber there is popped for spin, and the counter Uber is popped for vanilla. And let's see which team gets the better out of this exchange. I have a feeling Solar will. Yeah, no, Haunter doing really, really good play there, taking down the Devil Man up top there. No one dealt with the Soldier. And now it's the uh, advantage to RLM, and they get at, uh, Solar get absolutely destroyed here with only two scouts alive. But where are the two scouts? They're in lobby behind! Double back cap! They're in trouble, they're in trouble! Oh man, will, which, which, who will cap it first? I oh think, wow, uh, it looks uh, like a... Yeah, no, they, they're gonna be able to defend it with a medic coming back. That's very well played by Spin. The soldier needs help, Spin's gonna need some help here. Yeah, Spin's by himself right now in his choke. However, he does have Flippy and Exxon that to back him up, so he should be relatively safe. And those two scouts behind cannot do a single thing. It looks like uh, Solar are getting out the ambush. Meta goes down. Meta goes down for Solar. Quad goes oh, down, man. but Tech goes down. Nice. Well played by Hicks, though, taking down Quad and Tech. Um, and uh, Flippy taking down. Oh, that's a lot of players down here for. Uh... RLM, they need to be careful not to lose any more players. The good news is that Spin is alive. Spin is being forced! He's on 99%! Oh, he's on 6 HP! He just got it in time, launching onto Haunter, healing that extra second, and just gets the Uber in time and pops it with 6 HP. That's all he had. So basically that was a defensive Uber just to keep Spin alive and keep middle. Oh wow, that was a really good play there by... Um... Was it was it Hicks Spin. who bombed in? Oh well, no, so, yeah, no it, was, it was Hicks who I think bombed in, yep, onto the Medic and... Uh... And forcing it, um, so that was very well played because now it does mean that they should be able to hold second in theory, and that's what they're doing here. As you can see, uh, Solar are holding now their second as opposed to obviously RLM holding their second now. So we've switched sides, and it's still nil nil after almost nine minutes gone here. Yeah, but first spot goes to RLM. Yeah, uh, pushing big door. Yeah, it looks like RLM are pushing big door right now. There's currently no watching choke. There were a heck of a lot of stickers around here, but um, in so they have rotated around to their big door as well. Yeah, no, uh, the defense, the remember they are played out. Exxon has committed and forced the Uber very, very early. Haunter goes down for the drop, but the Uber is a little bit longer for her, for Spin here, but they're in trouble. Exxon needs to come out with some kills. The scout and the Dome need to focus here, and they don't because Spin goes down here as well. What can this scout do? He's missing all his shots onto Hicks. Oh, it's very well played. That's all up to the scout. Now, what can he do? I don't think he can do much. It's two scouts, but there's a scout behind as well. Actually, the scouts could save the point here for Solar. And it looks like they are. They're taking down Flippy as well. And Tech is very, very weak. He gets the health back inside. Uh, oh. Sorry, I had choke. Yeah, no, he does. Yep. That was a, a really close fight between both teams. It, so, Solar did manage to sandwich in, spin there, and take them down, which was a really good play. However, they did lose a lot of players. Well, both teams lost a lot of players in that encounter. Yeah, no, um, the scouts coming up trumps there, weren't they really, Mia? And just meat-shotting the hell out of uh, RLM and showing them how it's done. Uber still being run on both medics. Excuse me while I sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, both medics are on about almost 50% Uber right now, so we are going to see probably a bit more of a stalemate game. Oh my god, Barney goes down to a massive headshot there by Flippy from Big Door. Yeah, now they're in trouble. They're, they're in trouble. Devilmine gets a headshot as well. Lali needs to get out because, yeah, he's in trouble. They're going to drop out here just to be able to hold last. They do have a massive Uber advantage. Quad goes down to a sniper shot up top because one of the soldiers were, were, was delayed. But now Horta takes him down, so they are a sniper down as well. Eshi is being built. I don't think this is going to be effective enough. And a level, I, I would have gone pyro, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think I'd have gone pyro, but he has put a sentry gun in the normal uh, place, although Flippy does take down uh, the engineer. And the Uber is popped a bit early there, and uh, unfortunately only two people are up for revolution right now. Yeah, wow, that was that was messy by them. That was very, very messy. They went in one by one, Quad goes in, trying to get a pick, taking down Lali, the Delman, which is a good pick, but I mean, what happened with their push? They had a full Uber advantage, they only went with the Delman? Um, and then Spin ended up dying with a demo, and a Flippy goes down now as well. Um, yeah, I I'd like to bring in the team comms here at RE, if you can bring them in. We've got the team comms for uh, We need help on Big Dome. Big Dome. Right. Big Dome. 
He took 200. I'm taking a long time, but they're pushing us hard. So just bomb Medic 1 HP, he's down. Still on spin. I'm just coming. So, no, I'm down. So. Medic for medic. I'm coming on the right now. Boss, good on right. Skarlo, Skarlo, second Skarlo. Alright, on the right. Nice guys. Heavy, nice heavy on our side, I'll choke. I'm spamming him. Heavy, very weak. He's weak. He took. Demo, he's really weak. Demo's also on point. He's down. I took the side. Demo's on big door. Demo is fresh. Okay, so thank, thanks Ari for the comms there. Um, listening to that, they seem still pretty calm, don't they, uh, Mia? Um, yeah, you know, they seem, as it goes. Uh, yeah, they seem very calm and uh, very French, and it looks like they um, Sola did try to push out to mid in that encounter, but unfortunately just couldn't out the um, um, RM. Yeah, no, I think it's because obviously with the heavy, although he is a beast, as we know, uh, as we both play it, um, <laughs> he was too slow to middle. Um, wasn't quite the same. So, uh, never mind, they are back on last year with uh, Ubercharge versus... I'm just trying to see, is it Crits or is it Ubercharge? No, it is Ubercharge, so it's Ubercharge versus Ubercharge. They'll have it in time here. Um, so, uh, let's take a look what they're running. It's just a heavy, at least, behind the point or in water, is it? Oh, no, heavy is in yeah, water. Yeah, he's watching on the right-hand side there, right up on Riverside. Yeah, he's uh, pushed very far forward. Uh, yeah, he's watching Riverside and I think he's calling out. Have they seen him though? They can definitely hear his um, minigun, surely. Oh my god, uh, Q and X there, taking down Exxon! And it looks like Spin just ha was forced and uh, had to pop into some scouts there uh, in at the top of Riverside, so that was uh, quite amusing. Yeah, no, there was a decent airshot. Quad takes down Peter, um, and they are three players down. Here, RLM, they're gonna have to drop out. And there is a backup on it, they've gone from Riverside and they've actually, yeah, no, I was watching that on top left and they actually moved round and went for a backup. So basically, the rest of the team pushed, but um, there was only one person left on last and they actually went for the backup and they got it and it's 1 0 in favour of RLM. RLM, sorry. Yeah, they uh, noticed that it's only the heavy really watching the points, so they just focused him with a scout and a soldier and just uh, went in free water. Yeah, no, um. Take a look over middle at the moment, see what the passage play here is going to be. Both soldiers jumping up onto the point. Soldier trying to go huge hicks. Quick, quick, QNX gets the first blood, so does hicks on Haunter and Quad, but then Flippy cleans up hicks. And they're in trouble here, RLM. The middles aren't working out for them at all. They lost four players again, and this time it's Tech Alive instead of Exxon with Spin. Yeah, Spin is running back to last round now. He was being chased by a scout, but it looks like um, Solar are just going to push onto fourth right now with the demo and the medic. Would you be surprised if RLM play a sniper? I I am personally hoping that they play a sniper. They I think they have to play a sniper. They're pushed back to last uh, right now. It looks like um, Flippy has actually gone engineer instead. He's building a level one by the steps on the right. Dual energy. <laughs> Dual energy to obviously build it up quicker. Um, and now Quad should be switching to another class, I believe. Yep, and there you can see. Haunt has gone heavy and I'm not sure what Quad is doing actually. He's, I, he's <laughs> yeah, I, what if they do decide to run double engineer? I, I don't think so though. It looks like um, the Uber is popped there for Solar and um, Spin does pop his Uber back onto his heavy and uh, Flippy's building a level oh, one yet again. Something on the point. Haunter's going to need some help. Haunter gets focused down here by a soldier and a dome man and a scout, but they are white. They are completely wiped here, Solar. So Haunter being the bait and taking all the damage and soaking up all the damage. Um, and now they'll be able to recap this for free with no fear of a backup. Yeah, they're stacking the point pretty hard with six players right now and Solar have only just respawned. Unfortunately, they did manage to get their forward spawn, so they should be able to contest mid right here. You've got a scout and a demo watching choke right now, which is also where most of um, RLM are. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're in trouble, yeah. Uh-oh, literally, that was very well timed. <laughs> they're in trouble. That was very ICQ-like, uh, for some reason, the sound that came out there. Um, but yeah, no, they are in trouble, but they do manage to recover a little bit. It's three versus three. Spin stays alive on 99% and the man is still Uber in time. And he does get the Uber, so it's all up to basically Quad with his pistol. Oh, and now Exxon's here actually. What can Exxon do with Quad? That's the question at the moment. Nothing? Spin goes down, Vanilla spin goes does down. Go down, but so does uh, Vanilla. And it looks like they're gonna um, spawn at the same time right now. Exxon is, well, not Exxon, Lally is incredibly hurt right now trying to hold Red Choke, but it does look like he'll have to run back. Yeah, no, just poor passes of play here. I mean, that, that isn't the normal Quad we're used to seeing. Normally he gets a lot of meat shots and finishes off the player very, very quickly. 
today doesn't seem to be his day or I'm not sure what the deal is but um, I'm sure he'll uh, spring to life maybe in the second map or later towards the end of this map um, and it's just yeah medics ubers exchange so medics died at the same time do you think either medic will be playing crits creek I'm looking at Vani and he's using the uber charge and in I'm trying to... Yeah, uber charge as well. Uh, both uber. Haunter tries to commit here saying, well why are we letting them in for free? And now Sniper is up top and he takes down the medic, take, takes down Vanilla. So now they have um, an uber charge advantage but they are oh, four players down here, five players down and it's all up to spin. Where is spin? Spin manages to get out in time. Is he gonna, is he gonna get out in time? I don't think he is. He's the pistol. Hurt. Yeah, he's down. <laughs> Oh, that was that was really unfortunate. Flip, I thought Flippy's double headshot there, the two most important classes on the other team, would have secured RLM that point, that midpoint by. Yeah. But it looks like they pushed all the way back to last now. And Haunter has gone onto heavy. Gotta say, Flippy. <laughs> Q and X has gone huge. He's got twelve frags at the moment this round. Uh, this round is it? Yeah, this round. Wow, and then the next best is Exxon with 5, and the most damage is actually done by QNX as well as Soldier, 2,410. And then the next best is Exxon as Doma, 19, sorry, 1,989, so um, they need to be careful here, uh, RLM, because they're losing players left, right and centre, I don't know what they're doing here. They, they're already an uber disadvantage, and the Crits oh is in God. on the right hand side. Crits. They're in trouble, yeah, they've lost this. This is going to be a round to Solar for sure, there is one SG up, Exxon does a really good job actually. There is a scout capping, but there's no way they can hold this for sure. Exxon should be going down. Although they are getting nice spawns, actually they might be able to defend this. This is insane. This is... They shouldn't be able to defend this. Let's put it that way. The medic is capping and they do cap it. Finally. That, is, that was a bit shady, but uh, yeah, one all now. We do have a game on our hands with only uh, just under 12 minutes remaining on the clock here, Mia. Yeah, wow. That, that was um, a really close game there by both teams. That was a bit of a long and slow push there into last. I'm looking at the Demo Man rollup right now and I'm trying to see who will get to mid first. It does look like uh, they get there around about the same time. Yeah, I'm just uh, looking now and first ball goes to Quad on to Peter and they're in trouble here solo, but QNX again gets another pick. And it looks like they're getting out because they've taken so much damage. Um, so QNX, Paul. Uh, sorry, both scouts go down here and at least Vanilla managed to stay alive now. I wonder if he's running crits. He is running crits. He is running crits. So watch for the, sp the jump. Vanilla manages to... Oh, what a boss. That was very nice from Vanilla's point of view there. As Medic dodging all the all the uh, uh, rockets from uh, that soldier. I think it was Haunter or Tech. I'm not sure which. Exxon goes down, forces the Uber, or crits should I say. And now Spin has the advantage, but they are... Uh, up three, up two players here, Arlen. They need to force it. They are up players, and they have forced it, so they get out now. This is exactly what they need to do here, um, Mia. Yeah, it looks like the Uber is popped really early, and it looks like um, Solo do have a position advantage. Um, Vanilla is pushing his two soldiers in through choke right now, and it, they're gonna recap mid easily. Yeah, no. Looking at that, they looks like they will recap it. Um, and uh, yeah, no, that was very, very well played by Solar there. Um, now they're obviously with the crits, man, but they still have crits here, Mia. Yeah, I. It's working out uh, pretty well for them though. Spin only has about 10% Uber, 15%. He it's running back, and he's holding inside lower lobby right now, so he doesn't get surprised. Crits creaked. Uh -oh, that spin crits down. Creaked. Yeah, no, Krigit is popped, but um, Hicks does go down, but Hicks takes down Spin and Haunter, so that's Medic and Soldier down. And Vanilla goes down as well, they need to be careful, there is a backup on by one of the Solar players, and he might get in time on a Doman. Lali actually manages to sneak in, and go from lower all the way through main onto last and cap. That was very sneaky. Yeah, the crits there was popped onto Lali, and in the aftermath of that, um, while they were focusing on getting Vanilla, he managed to managed to sneak in through Riverside and go in underneath the point for that back out. Yeah, no, I want to hear what the uh, comms are, Ari. Can you bring yes. in the comms from RLM? So you took I'm weak. Second, so jumping on point, just take them. Scott on me on point. But don't jump. They're going to be aggressive now. They're going to be aggressive. So they jump. So on our side. We need to regroup, regroup. Yeah, I don't Check have anyone flight. behind. We don't have anyone behind. Yeah, flanking, Scatter, flanking, flanking. Soldier. I'm going top. They're gonna push me before I can get the Superwatch track. Nobody's keeping. They don't have the point yet. Do you wanna push? No, we're not gonna have it. We can re-push. No, we're still going to be in the lobby. Good big door for the pin. Mm -hmm. 
Bit of sign Very coming well. in there from the comms there. If you can hear it for you, I like Don't to spin. Yeah, really fuzzy with a lot of sticks on the. Yeah, uh, it on the looks like RLM are feeling a bit frustrated right now. Yeah, no, because they they have the advantage, but they're not taking advantage of it, so to speak. And uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, oh, they really, are. Spin they really are doesn't want to pop, so. Yeah, they're pushing onto mid right now. They've got a lot of players, but a lot of them are quite hurt right now, including Spin himself at about 40 health. Yeah, and, uh, um, Vani is moving his team back into lower lobby, into the safety of it, really. And now Spin actually still hasn't used it. That's actually very well played. The scout is in. No man, Chris is in! Use the Uber Spin before you lose your men! Oh dear, he's <laughs> lost a couple of men there. And now uh, they can't count this. They're in trouble. They need to get out. Vanta would have called that for sure, surely. Yeah, that was a really smart move by Vani that he moved his team up top so they had the height advantage to pop the crits onto them. It looks like uh, Spin is by himself right now and oh my god, there's an medical battle! <laughs> Vani there just uh, told his soldier to back off and uh, double uber sword Spin there for some uh, uber. So much hesitation coming in and just when the crits was popped they were all over the place losing players left right and center spin needed to uber early heard the crits and just uber his men and now flippy tries to kill the medic he doesn't manage to force it they do have crits quick so Mia what they should do here is probably push forward and use the crits as they spawn yeah it, they're going up with Chuck right now but there is a sticky trap there being set up by Exxon it it pops and doesn't kill anyone, and that is crit there, popped onto... Scout Rock, Scout on the Rock! Takes down the Medic! Sorry to cut you off there, that was Quad <laughs> waiting at the Rock. And he actually just waited for the Medic to go a little bit further, and no one saw him at Rock and just meets off at the Medic, two shots, and he was dead. But they lose five players. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure what's happening. I think the Crits Creek did a heck of a lot of damage and did shift around the positioning of RLM. So even if Quad did manage to take down the Medic, uh, RLM were way too hurt. Contest the point, and yeah. they were getting out the end. Yeah, no, that is true. Um, they are rattled. Let's put it that way. Um, I will bring in the comms. I don't want to bring them just yet, um, but uh, I will. I will want to hear them because they must be getting frustrated. Um, I would say it's quite a volatile uh, bunch of players in there. So you know, if, if something goes wrong, one could explode. One could start raging. Maybe one can get frustrated as well. Um, maybe that's all the same as raging. I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> um, they are going to be. Able to uh, yeah, Ubers are about even right now. Is Vani, is Vanilla still using No, he's, using Uber. No, he's, oh, using, he's Uber. using Uber right now. I've got to admit, he's doing very well with that, isn't he? I mean, he's switching at the right time as a medic would, just to create that sort of randomnessity, like, you know. Um, and now Hicks actually goes down, so that's a good pick by Exxon. But it will actually mean nothing, because Spin may say, well, they, they have crit screen, we can push in, why not? But they actually have Uber, so they may be in a bit of trouble here. This could cost them. Let's see what's going to happen here. And now Exxon doesn't see the stickies. And he goes down. So now they're in trouble. They've actually Ubered for nothing. Yeah, it's been there. Ubers there on really low health. And Vanilla pops back. And he's just standing in the door of lobby right now. And he, he does try to go for an Uber saw yet again. Um, wow. It was really risky there because he tried to get it on Quad. And Quad did uh, meet, sh um, meet shot him a bit. So he couldn't do it. Oh, wow. That's uh, Peter1998 there, I uh, forget which scout that is, but he's going crazy right now, getting two picks yeah. on the demo and on to tech, so, uh, wow. Um, that was uh, that was on the cards though, Mia, seriously. Uh, <laughs> like, as soon as you walked out, I, I reckon they thought that they had Crits Creek, but they didn't, and then when they Ubered, it was Uber for nothing as well, <laughs> so that made it even harder for them. And now they're 3-1 down with only four minutes remaining on the clock. RLM need to bring up something on her middle. They've lost every single middle, I believe. So they're going to have to come up with something here. And they're being completely aggressive. And they are running a sniper as well. And interestingly enough, <laughs> Solar running a heavy. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Hicks on heavy right there. And he's been dealing a heck of a lot of damage. I think he managed to quad, uh, track Quad out of the air there while he was dancing around mid. And, oh yeah, look at that scout pick. Uh, Flippy being out DM'd, Haunter taking down Paul. And Haunter is still behind, saying, I'm behind them guys, help me. But now they're trying to help, but it's too late because the Heavy's trying to push. Remember, the Heavy has 450 health and the Medic with him to Uber. Not just yet, actually. Vanilla doesn't actually have it. And Spin died, remember. There is a soldier. How has he not seen that Medic? Why didn't he go for the Medic? What? <laughs> I, I think he was too scared of the Heavy because uh, Exxon there tried to go for the Medic. His uh, dead body just sort of flopped somewhere near where Hicks was. 
Look at Vanilla dodging those rockets like a boss. I've got to say, I'm very impressed with Vanilla's movement at the moment. Um, very Miralan-esque, as it were, from Broda. And so, yeah, this is this is good night for this map. There's no way they can come back now, I'd say, with a heavy and an uber advantage for last. Pushing to last as well. Yeah, it looks like Metagame are trying to get aggressive up top there, but a lot of them are really hurt right now, and they are running back to last to Riverside. <laughs> and they're trying to punch Haunter! And now we see Hicks punches Haunter, and uh, it looks like, yeah, this is going to be a point to um, Solar, and 4-1. Might see GG's come through, might see a map change now, I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, <laughs> they're still trying to punch oh. him, let me <laughs> Oh, a bit of comedy there with the punches and, and the escape plan being used there to cap last. Um, and yeah, no, Solo coming out on top here with the DM and the team cohesion more so. Um, and yeah, just taking this convincingly and deservedly, I would say, wouldn't you say, Mia, uh, on this? Yeah, the melee just shows how confident they are. And it looks like uh, RLM are feeling it as well. They are playing really cautiously and making s some really uh, big mistakes. I'm watching the mid fight, and wow, Hicks goes down, Lali goes down. That's two massive classes and picks there for RLM. But unfortunately, all of them are down for RLM apart from Spin and Tech right now. So it looks like they'll have to run back to last yet again. Oh no, Spin goes down as well. Never mind. Yeah, no, I want to hear their comms. Ari, can you bring in their comms to see how they're. Be careful, they might be really close to us. They're on the point, on the last point. They're water. We oh. can block them, guys. <laughs> They're really silent, it's just excellent. Yes, I'm talking. blocking them by the water. By the river. So can water. Yeah, they. I'm on fucking last, there's no one to hit oh, Jesus. No one's talking to me. Okay, thanks for the uh, comms there, Ari. And as you can see, the silence is getting through <laughs> to spin because he's saying, no one's talking to me, I want the comms. And yeah, they're clearly uh, deflated, so to speak. Um, and they just need to re re regather themselves, don't they? You lost the map, forget it, it's over. Three points is gone, but you can still win another three points. Wow, Solar there getting uh, really cocky. Vanilla there actually went Soldier, and now QNX is on Medic. Uh, yeah, no... Uh, Lali has timed out, but I don't think it will matter too much in the fact that they know they've won it 4-1. Um, they may try and make it 4-2. And, and <laughs> Q&X actually uh, goes medic just to really rub salt into wounds, like you were saying. Um, yeah. Uh, that's maybe a little bit disrespectful, but nonetheless, um, they have won it convincingly and deservedly, so uh, it's going to end 4-2 in favour of Solar. Yeah, they're about... Uh... 30 seconds left on the clock, and it's. I think it's physically impossible for Metagame to do a whole cap right now. Yeah, no, uh. I don't think they'll be even going for it, they'll just be going for cruise control. I call it cruise control, <laughs> literally, when they don't care. <laughs> and uh, press W, you know, W plus M1. Um, would have liked to have seen some pyro action, but nope, not there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this would call dead time, so to speak. Uh, who would you, I mean, if you had to give a man of the map, um, who would you give it to, Ooh, Mia? I, I'd say definitely Hicks there. He did a heck of a lot of damage, and it, I, I really liked his heavy play. I might be a bit biased, but uh, I think he had three dominations at one point. Yeah, um, it's, yeah, no, it's between those. It's Hicks and QNX for me. QNX did a sublime job as well. I've got to say. Um, um, so we're we're torn here. I think you'll go with Hicks, and I'll go with Q and X. So obviously <laughs> we'll see how it goes on the second map. Um, yeah, I mean the frustration clearly showing in RLM with those cons. You heard Spin getting angry at his men for not talking, and and rightly so they were not actually communicating. It's clearly the case of the fact that um, you know that they're frustrated or deflated that they lost. So let me just uh, yeah. let me just cut this off here for the vods. So you've been watching Villain TV for the first map of the ETF 2 l season 15 week two Premiership game between RLM that's a uh, Revolution uh, La Meta game and uh, Solar Professional Edition in which the first map CP Gullywash underscore final one has ended in favour of Solar four to two um, and man of the map going to. Uh, Q and X and Hick, I suppose, and your casters have been uh, Maya and Byte, and the streamer tonight is none other than Anna.